Hi guys. I uh, just wanted to show you I'm doing well today. Um, breathing somewhat better and less emotional. Um, had a conversation with my mother-in-law and we worked things out. <laughs> um, she really is going through some hard times and uh, she loves me and I love her and we're okay. But there's some stuff that I want to talk about in a later video. Today, I've been asked to talk about um, my last pregnancy. There's a lesson there that I haven't learned yet, and this is how it works for me. So um, I talk about it, and then I pray, and um, the Spirit just kind of leads me to see the lesson that, that I am to learn. Um, in case you haven't noticed, what's been happening with me over the last year is I, I came to an understanding that I um, I had been lied to all my life about lots of different things. And I learned that I basically had a foundation that was built on sand. And after admitting that and praying about it and humbling myself, um, I learned that what's been going on is... My foundation has been being rebuilt with something that can't be refuted, my very own life. That's why I'm doing this work, so that other people can maybe use it as an example of, um, of how to reestablish your own foundation. So here we go. <laughs> um, we have a blended family, and when my first husband and I divorced, I had three children. We had three children, and um, he and I are still friends. In fact, we're better friends now than we were when we were married, and um, I'm friends with his new wife and stuff. Um, and if, if ever you have that opportunity, I strongly recommend it. Heal those wounds and move on. Um, don't hang on to it forever because it's like poison. So my current husband and I had a daughter together shortly after um, we were married, and um, it was enough. I had, that made four kids for me. That's a lot. That's enough. So I had gone on birth control and um, went in to talk to the doctor about having a tubal ligation and part of the protocol for that is they have to run a pregnancy test. And I was pregnant when they ran that pregnancy test, even though I was on birth control. And the pregnancy seemed to be progressing rather rapidly. I had already done this a few times. I felt like a pro. Um, so I knew something was different about this pregnancy. I was pretty sure there was more than one baby in there, and I was right. <laughs> so my doctor tried feeling for the heartbeat or listening for the heartbeat and um, didn't hear two heartbeats. So when I went for an ultrasound, they certainly found two babies in my belly. Um, I was, oh, I was scared and overwhelmed because kids are a lot of work and I already had four and I didn't think that I was strong enough um, to handle two more. And it's funny how, how you are stronger than you think, right? I was. Um, early on in the pregnancy, we knew that my son um, was sick. We knew that he had a disease called polycystic kidney disease. Um, otherwise, things seemed to be going normally and the babies seemed to be healthy. At 30 weeks, um, my water broke. And so the babies had to be delivered at 30 weeks. Um, my son, well, both of them were were over five pounds, so they were big for 30 weeks and being multiples. Um, my daughter had trouble with her suck, swallow, breathe thing. It's like she couldn't really do that, so they did the tube feeding with her. And um, like I said, we knew that my son was sick. One of his kidneys had already, like there was too many cysts for it to ever even really function. Um, 
and we were prepared to deal with that. You only need one kidney to survive anyway, so it wasn't like that big of a deal. The problem with polycystic kidney disease is that um, the, the cysts tend to continue to grow and cause a lot of problems for the person. Uh, I think it was at seven or nine days, I got a phone call right after leaving the uh, the uh, critical care unit for the babies, and um, they said that my son didn't have any lower pulses, and it was a problem. I didn't really know what that meant at the time. I do now. Um, so it turns out that he, along with the kidney dysfunction, he had a disease that was called a coarctation of his carotid artery, and is something that can be fatal if left untreated. So we life flighted him down to Primary Children's Hospital and they did the, the surgery there when he was, I think, 12 days old. He, he didn't fall in the high enough seriousness category to be operated on right away. There was people that were way more sick than he was, so he waited his turn and um, he's, he's doing great now. It's, he's 15 years old and um, he's the one that was in that video that, uh, the weird day <laughs> where he was in an explosion in our house that didn't make any sense. It still doesn't. Um, some really cool stuff happened during that time. My husband, uh, we, we were down at Primary Children's for about a month while he recovered. And um, the people that my husband worked with donated their, their paid time off to him so that he could do that without having it have a financial impact on our family and um, also so that um, he could be be down there with me and, and the twins. Um, what, what a miracle, what a special blessing that was for our family to, to be able to have that time together and, and grow stronger. The pregnancy itself um, was difficult on my body. It wreaked, it wreaked havoc. In fact, the terminology the doctor used was it crushed my pelvic floor. So I had to have reconstructive surgery afterwards. And, um, you know, that, uh, that stuff you see on the commercials about that wire mesh, I'm full of that in there. So I always kind of worry and I can feel it vibrating when I'm pulsed. Like I can feel the energy anyways, but I can really feel it in that wire mesh. Um, but I haven't had any, any trouble with it like other people seem to have. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the starting point for this. And I'm not sure what the reasoning is. And this is where I, I take it to my father. And then I um, open my eyes and my ears and my heart and, um, and let him show me what it is I needed to learn from this. So um, Sometimes it's just a reminder of the love in the world that does exist when sometimes it feels like there hasn't been much of that, you know. But um, I just wanted to, to do what I was asked to do and, and be obedient there. I love you guys and um, working on some really fun stuff. I walked over to the river today and, and got some photos and um, uh, just some other, like, interesting things everybody seems to know that those scrolls are open now and um and it's pretty cool when you start looking into the things that you're led to look at and you can find the truth it's really neat um so i know that we're all doing different work and that's okay you know i mean we can't all be looking at the same thing all the time right so my work is a little bit different than a lot of other people's and and i understand that um it's a little less exciting to watch somebody go over their life and, and talk about the lessons that they've learned, but um, that's what I'm doing. So I thought I would share it with you guys, and uh, I love you, and I hope you're all having a really good day. Take care. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.